Have you ever wondered if you could hatch an egg from the grocery store? Or maybe you've seen some of the YouTube videos of other people trying it? Well, I went ahead and got these quail eggs and I decided to go ahead and give it a try on my own using a incubator that I made myself. In order to make the incubator, all I used was a styrofoam drink cooler with holes cut out on the top on the sides and then one on the bottom just for extra airflow. I used some extra acrylic plastic I had laying around to make the windows on the lid and in the front there. And then on the inside you can see I put a light bulb in for heating and then I put a aluminum cake tin. So incubating the quail eggs is a little bit more involved than you may initially think. Every couple of hours I have to check up on them and then rotate them over. So you can see each egg is marked with a red X on one side. That way I can keep track of what side or how much I need to rotate them. So every three to five hours or just whenever I get the chance if I'm working that day, I'll come home and then rotate them all. Check the temperature, the humidity, and then how much water is in those sponges that controls the humidity. Uh, the thermometer, it, it's a high-low thermometer, so it allows me to see what the lowest of the day was along with the highest. And I've also blurred out part of it. There was some of my private information on there. And I don't want you guys to find out where I live. Because you all should stay away from me. Now, typically quail eggs hatch after about 18 days. And on day 15 or so is when you want to stop rotating them. And you'll actually be able to see the eggs on a very rare occasion. It'll twitch and rock around. That's the baby inside moving. And... This, these clips here might seem like they are moving a lot, but this is actually probably some hours worth of footage and I just edited it out the good parts. But you can see them moving just ever so slightly. Now unfortunately, I work a full-time job, so I couldn't be there to actually see it happen. But while I was at work, my dad sent me this picture. Look at that cute little alien guy just popped out there. You can see where he crawled over to the other side too. When I did finally get home though, I saw this tired thing. Sleeping and resting and making its cute little crying chirps. But the real surprise, I guess, is right behind him. The second egg you can see is starting to hatch. And it's poking its beak out and everything. Now I've sped up this footage because quails or birds in general hatching I guess it, it's a very time consuming process for them. They have to do it on their own and you really shouldn't help them out. I know it's tempting to just reach in there with some tweezers or something and just pick the eggshell apart for them but it, that's something you really shouldn't do because the chick inside might be not fully developed or stuck to the egg and if you peel away the shell then you might peel away like the um the umbilical cord or parts of the chick that are stuck to the shell and that would be pretty sad no one wants to see that i think all in all this whole process took uh shoot i forgot maybe 30 or 40 minutes for it to hatch that I could tell but I kind of forgot to be honest with you <laughs> and I'm sure it varies on um, how healthy the chick is or how big the egg is these quail eggs actually vary in size a lot and some of the babies are gonna be bigger and stronger than others
Now once the second one finished hatching, I separated the first chick um, just because it was, uh, it was a little bit more energetic and I didn't want it to hassle the newborn one. I didn't want it to peck at it or step on them too much or just get too stressful for the second one. You probably don't really have to do that, but I did it just in case and uh, it worked out pretty fine. Uh, after the, the chicks will stay kind of wet and, and tired looking like this for about a day. Once they dry off, they definitely get more energetic and start running around. And then you can see here after a while, once they are dried off, and I think this is day one or day two, um, I started grinding up some bird feed for them to eat. And uh, I just put a little note card instead of a bowl. And in the background, you can see a bottle cap. I put a little pebble in for water. You need to put pebbles or rocks or marbles, something in their water tray. That way um, they don't fall in and drown in it or anything like that. Apparently that's a pretty common occurrence for baby quail, but you can see them just happily rummaging around and pecking out food and pooping and stuff. <laughs> They're pretty cute. They kind of look like, like popcorn, little popcorn, <laughs> popcorn chickens. <laughs> now, every day that I came home, this is what I was greeted with two little quail babies running out the window trying to get my attention. So I would come home, uh, scoop them out, clean out their poop, refill their water and food and everything, make sure that they're okay. Just typical pet care kind of stuff. And once they get a little bit older, this is what they start to look like. Moved them into a bigger tank and you can see that they're, they're trying to teach themselves how to fly or at least stretch their wings. And then here they are even older and messier. They poop a ton and they like to throw their seeds everywhere, their food. Then here they are just a few more days later, a little bit bigger, a little bit more feathers on them. And at this point, I've made a little feeder there that'll help keep them from kicking the feed around everywhere. Like I said, they're pretty messy, so everything helps. And then here they are, just about fully grown. They're about the size of a large baseball, I guess. They're, that's probably about as big as they'll get though. And, and also by this time, I can tell that they're both female by the patterns on their chest. That sort of spotty look. They're real cute, huh? <laughs> so if you were wondering if you could hatch grocery store quail eggs, the answer is yes. Uh, I bought a pack of 10 eggs. I had, actually I had three quail hatch. But one of them was not very healthy and he actually did not make it to adulthood. But I ended up with two very healthy, happy quail that just run around everywhere pooping all day, I suppose. But they're pretty cute. They don't mind if you touch them or anything. Not too much anyway. So that concludes my quail hatching extravaganza. And, um, yeah, now I have two cute little fat birds, messy little cute fat birds. <laughs>